I've been a fan of So You Think You Dance for about four and a half years now. And the reason is because I actually started Latin Ballroom because of the show. At first I was scared because I didn't think I could move my hips that way. But I got used to it and I just, I grown to love it. For me, being in the top 20, it's really unreal because it hasn't hit me yet. I mean, it's only the first day and we're just like, there's so much stuff going on. You know, we're just trying to get used to it and just thinking about being in the top 20, I'm just so happy. Because I'm a Latin ballroom dancer, I guess my strength would be that I'm already used to partnering with someone and the show already requires us to partner with another person. So I feel like I'm ready for that to have seen the show four years ago and started Latin Morum because of it and actually be here right now, it's just amazing. And to win the show, that would just be like even more amazing. <laughs>actually started Latin Ballroom because of the show. After watching one of the a uh, few of the contestants doing Latin Ballroom, uh, I just fell in love with uh, the genre. And a friend of mine asked me uh, at that time, would you want to dance Latin Ballroom with me? And I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> it looks fun. Uh, so I tried it out. At first I was scared because I didn't think I could move my hips that way. But eventually I, I got used to it and I just, I grown to love it. Because I'm a Latin ballroom dancer, I guess my strength would be um, that I'm already used to partnering with someone and the show already requires us to partner with another, uh, another person. So um, I feel like I, I, I'm, I'm ready for that. Uh, for me, one of the most uh, memorable things is my first day in LA auditions whenever I just walked in through the door and they gave me a number and just looking down at my number and seeing that I was like 21,000 something and realizing that uh, the judges have already seen this many dancers before me and um, I would need to really impress them. And uh, just going through all of this and, and thinking back about that, it just, it's just so amazing to think that out of all of those people were like top 20. So it's like, it's, it's so unreal. <laughs> For me, uh, a few important things uh, right before performing would definitely be um, having my routine 100% prepared right before I go out because I know if I don't have it 100%, then I, will, I won't perform the same way mentally. Um, being definitely physically warmed up, that's 100% because you don't want to hurt yourself, especially um, on stage in front of everyone <laughs> in live performances um, and also just being mentally ready and um, just being focused and uh, prepared to enjoy yourself rather than thinking so stressfully uh, just use every experience to its fullest. I think a lot of people don't know that um, I really enjoy art and I, I enjoy drawing and painting and it gives me a way to relax uh, and that I, I used to be in art and I had to choose between art and dance and I chose uh, dance instead. Um, and it was a hard decision, of course, because I loved uh, art. Uh, 